All right, hello everyone. Today we're going to do a uh, quick uh, video tutorial, and we're going to show you how to design uh, a template um, using uh, clipping masks. So what we're going to do to start out, we're going to come up to File, going to go to New, and we just want to create a. Uh, we're going to create the template, and you just go in here and pick any width height that you want to you want to uh, work with. So we're just going to simply use an 8x10. Um, and we're going to title it, we'll call it uh, Template. So once you get all this stuff done, just go ahead and click OK to create your template. Alright, now we have our white template up. The first thing that I always tell people to do is hit your Control J key, Control J on the keyboard, and that's going to create a backup layer. Alright, <clears throat> um, I am going to just relabel this as um, Background, Copy. <clears throat> Okay, once that's layered, the next thing I want to do is I'd like to uh, put some color into this background. Quickest, easiest way to do that is we're going to come over here um, to our uh, on top of our gradient tool. If we hold down the left mouse button, you'll see that we can switch to the paint bucket tool. So go ahead and select your paint bucket tool. Next, you're going to see your little color splotches down here. Um, go ahead and click on the top color splotch. Um, I'm not really sure what they're called. Um, I call them color splotches. Um, so then um, we're just going to go in here and we're going to pick out a color that we want for our background. So as you see, we can get all kinds of different colors. So go ahead and find a color that you want to use for your background. I am just going to use uh, a red, I guess, for now. So go ahead, once you have that selected, go ahead and hit OK. And then just uh, inside your form here, uh, just left click once with your uh, with your left mouse button and that paint bucket is going to go ahead and fill that in for you. So now we have our background color. Uh, next thing we want to do is we want to add some boxes on here that we can drop our photos into. Okay, and simply we're going to create. Now I'm going to put two boxes on this photo here. This is going to be a sports template. Okay, just a generic sports template. So what I want to do is I want to put a box up here in the left corner uh, for the actual team uh, player picture and down below I want to put a bigger box for a team photo so we're gonna have two boxes on here so what I want to do is I want to come down here to my lower right to this little button down here that's called create new layer and I want to click it once to create one layer and we need two of them so I'm gonna click it again if you notice now over here in the right layers pane we have a layer one and a layer two now <clears throat> I like the I like to label my layers so I can keep everything organized. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to rename this one to Team, because that's where our team picture is going to be. And the second one, I'm going to rename it to Player, because this is where uh, the box is going to contain, or the layer that's going to contain our player picture. So now that we actually have these two uh, layers created, we need to put our box that's going to hold our picture on these layers. So let's start with <coughs> the team, uh, the team box, the team uh, layer. So left click on the team layer, make sure that it's blue, it has the highlight. And then we want to come over here and we just want to hover over top of this and we're going to see it says rounded rectangle or it might just say rectangle tool. Okay, so we can pick any one of these, ellipse tool, polygon tool, uh, rounded rectangle uh, tool or rectangle tool. Now I use the rectangle tool your preference. Once we have that done, we're going to come back over to our main form. Uh, put the mouse cursor basically, you know, in that rough area where you want to start. Hold the left mouse button down. Now while holding the left mouse button, we're going to go ahead and drag out to get our, our little window. Once we have it, release the mouse button and it's going to put it up there. Now, what I did is I made a mistake. I forgot to change my color. So what I want to do is I want to come in here, I want to change my color by clicking on, let me show you here, clicking on these little splotches again, click on the top one, and we're going to just pick a different color. I like to pick like a, a gray, like a neutral gray. Hit OK, and what happens now is when we're going to redo this, so we're going to, what we're going to do is I want you to go ahead and I want you just to grab this team uh, layer, and we want to toss it in the trash, okay, and we want to come down here and create a new one. All right. Once again, let's just relabel this as team. Okay. We're going to do this again now. 
What happened before was I actually made the box, but I made it the same color as the background so we couldn't see it. Okay. So it's important you want to go in and before you do that, you want to change your background color so you can see the box. And you'll see here in a second. So once again, with a rectangle tool, um, select it, come up here, find where you want to put it, hold the left mouse button down, once again, drag it all the way across to where you want it, and release it. Now, if you can notice, now we have a, a rectangle that we can see. Okay. <clears throat> now, this is where our team photo is going to reside. We're going to put it right in here. Now, we have that done. So, now we want to come up and we want to click on the player layer. Make sure that's blue. That has the current focus. With that selected, now we're going to come back over. Our, our uh, rectangle tool still select it. We're going to come up here and find a spot where we want to put our team player. Hold the left mouse button down once again and draw our box and release. Now we have our team box, or I'm sorry, we're, we're going to put our player box. We have our player box, and right below it is our team box. So we have those two things done. Now, I'm just going to show you simply, well, there's another thing I like to do. I like to put what's called a stroke around these to make them stand, stand out a little bit. And a simple way of doing that is, with the player box selected, we're going to come down here to a control that's called FX. And we're going to click on that. And at the bottom, you're going to see something that's called a stroke. Just go ahead and click on that stroke. Now, we can decide what color stroke we want it to be. I, uh, I like to put a white stroke usually. So we can click on this, change it to white. Now, you can change it to any color you want, any color stroke that you want. I personally like to use white, so I'm going to click it white, click OK. And then we're going to see some, uh, some settings here that we just need to, to adjust real quick. We want our stroke position to be inside this box. So right now it's currently set for outside, so we just simply want to change it to inside. And this is going to be our stroke width, okay, our size in pixels. That's how thick this stroke is going to be. Now, if you notice, as I slide this to the right, that stroke starts to appear, and it gets thicker and thicker and thicker as I move this uh, slider. So we just want to find a stroke that we like that looks nice, and I think maybe 43 pixels looks good. And we're going to say that looks good, and we're going to leave it there. So we're going to go ahead and click OK. So now we have like a nice little frame around this, uh, this box. Now we want to do the same thing. We want this thing to have the same stroke. Now we could come down here to Team, highlight that, and we could go through and do Stroke all over again. We could do that if we want, um, but a, there's a simpler and quicker way to do that. Go back up to Player, make sure it's highlighted. Left click. Um, you want to left click on your on your on your Stroke right here. Okay. If you notice when I left click, I, I can hold it. Okay. But before you left click, hold your Alt key down. So make sure your Alt key is held down. Then, with your mouse cursor on this little stroke, left click, holding the Alt key still down, holding the left mouse key down, you can see now I can drag it. So we're going to drag it right on top of the team box, release the mouse button, now release the Alt key. And look, we just made a copy of that stroke and put it onto this layer with the team box. So we have an exact stroke on this one now. It's very quick and easy to do. So now we have our two boxes. Next thing I'd like to do is we want to put maybe a player name up here. So what we're going to do is we're going to come over here to the T. We're going to see a T here. Okay. We'll see the T, and that's for your text. So go ahead and click on that. So we have our text tool. Then up above our window, or wherever you want to do it on the form, you know, this is totally your preference, but I like to do it above the player window. I'm going to left click and you're going to see my blinking cursor here. That means my text is ready to be put up there. Now up here is our text settings. So we have our size for our text, which we can change. We also have our color. Now I don't want a gray, uh, I don't want the name to be gray. So once again, look at this. We can go in here and pick any color that you choose. I once again would like to do a white text. So I'm going to click white, click OK. Now we notice that our color box is going to be white. We can pick our font that we want, so you can pick any font that you want. I'm going to leave it right where it's at. And now I am going to put, um, we can type our player name in. And simply what I'm going to do is I'm just going to type in player name. That quick, that simple. Okay, now obviously you put Joe or Lucy, 
Nathan, whatever the, the child's name is. Um, but just to keep it simple, I'm putting player name. I'm then going to go ahead and I'm going to click my move tool up here. Once I do that, since I have the focus still on this text layer, now I can actually left click on the name and I can drag it around where I want it. Once I get it in the appropriate uh, approximate area where I want it, now I can actually use my arrow keys to make fine tune adjustments on it. See how quick and easy that is? So now I have my player name on the form. <clears throat> now if I want to get a little bit fancier too, I can also put a drop shadow behind this name to kind of make it look like it's three dimensional. The way I do this, once again, make sure that my player name layers has the current focus. Um, then I come once again down to this FX uh, box, okay, button. Click on that and then you're going to see something that says drop shadow. We're going to go ahead and left click on that. We're going to actually take the distance now and if you see while I'm moving this distance you can see a drop shadow coming in under the player name. So just find an area, you know, uh, an amount that you like. Once you're happy with it, go ahead and click OK. And now you have a drop shadow under that person's name. All right. Now, I'm going to show you one more thing. Um, and we're going to put a picture in one of these boxes. Now, I'm only going to do one box right now. So once I put the picture in this one box, you do the exact same thing for this box down here. OK. Um, just to keep it shorter, though, I'm going to just show you how to do it in one box. And just remember that the process is the exact same thing for this box, except you just want to work on be working on this layer when you do this one. So now we're going to take a, a, a picture of, a, of a, a person, usually a team player. I'm just going to grab one of my photos that um, from a, a shoot that I did here like two years ago. So we're going to go ahead and open file, open. Now I just have this uh, lovely young lady that I had worked with here um, a while back. I'm just going to grab her photo and real quickly and we're just going to go ahead and bring that in to Photoshop. Now I have a border around it. Don't worry about that. It's that's no big deal. So what we want to do now is go ahead once we have this this uh, picture up, hit Control J on the keyboard. Control J. What that does is it creates a, a copy of that layer. We're going to then make sure that we have our our uh, move tool highlighted up here, or you can just hit V on the keyboard for your move tool. Once that's done with this layer highlighted, go ahead and put your mouse right on the picture, left click and hold it down. As you do that, you're going to notice that we can drag a copy of this now. We want to drag it all the way up right on top of the tab that is our template. So make sure the mouse is now we're still holding the left mouse button down the whole time. Make sure that your mouse is up on this template uh, on this tab up here. When it is, you're going to notice that the picture of our template now comes up. Still holding that left mouse button down, continue to drag your mouse now down on top of your template. With that done, now release the left mouse button and when you do you're going to notice that we drop that picture on top of our template. Now we want to make sure that the picture is right above the box that we want it to be in. So if you notice right now our picture is above the text layer. So I want that picture to be above this player box because I want it to go in this little player box here. So what we're going to simply do is we're going to make sure that our mouse is on top of this photo layer, this picture layer, okay, called layer 1, with the left mouse button held down, can hold it down, and then we notice we can drag this layer down till it's right above the player layer, and then we're going to release the mouse button. So look at that. Now we've brought the picture from above the text box down to above the player box, okay? Now it's important you do this. It has to be above the box that you want to put it in. Why? Because we're going to create what's called a clipping mask. And you're going to see what we're going to do here. We're actually going to make this photograph here appear inside this little box. Now what we want to do with this highlighted still, this picture highlighted, we want to right click once on that layer. You're going to see an option that says create clipping mask. With that, with your mouse on that uh, create clipping mask, go ahead and left click once. Now you'll notice when you do that, that picture disappears inside this box. Now if you notice this box is um, small, that, that picture was large, so we're not seeing the full picture. So with the left mouse button held down, you can actually go ahead and 
drag this picture around and then release it when you're done. Now we gotta resize this photograph so it fits inside that picture box. And the way we're gonna do this is holding uh, your control key down on the keyboard so it's control then just hit your T key control T and then release them okay this is going to allow us to transform our photograph in other words we're gonna resize it smaller so go ahead and zoom out so you can see the whole thing then what we want to do is we want to take our our arrow key or I'm sorry we want to take our mouse our mouse pointer and we want to put it right on the edge of the box so we get a double-sided arrow. See that? We put it right on the edge of the box, get a double-sided arrow. Now once we have that, we want to hold our left shift key down. Hold it down. Now this is important. This, what this left shift key does is it keeps everything in proportion. If you don't hold this left shift key down, watch what happens. I'm not holding the left shift key. I try to resize this. Look at this. I'm squishing her face. Oh man, that's not what we want. We're, we don't want to squish her. We want to keep everything in proportion. So I'm going to hit escape. That's going to bring my picture back to the size it was. I'm going to hit control T again so we can transform this photo. Now, once again, <coughs> excuse me, put your mouse key or your mouse uh, arrow, mouse pointer on the corner here so you get a double sided arrow. Once you have that, hold down the shift key. Very important, hold that shift key down. Now, at the same time now with, with these double arrows up, Go ahead and hold your left mouse button down. Now with the shift key held down and the left mouse button held down, now we can go ahead and we can resize this photo and everything's going to stay in proportion. So go ahead, resize it. When you have it where you want it or you think you have it where you want it, release the mouse button, then release the shift key. Now we can go ahead up here in the center of this box, hold the left mouse button down. You don't have to hold the shift key at this point because we're just moving it now. So hold the left mouse button down, re-line uh, um, re, uh, up this photo where you want it, and now we're going to do this process to resize all over again. Once again, get your mouse on the corner where you have a double-sided mouse. Once that's done, hold the shift key down. Now hold the shift key because we're resizing it. We're not moving it this time. We're resizing, so hold that shift key down. With that done, hold the left mouse button down and start resizing again. Get to where you want, release the mouse button, release the shift key. Now since we're moving it, we're not resizing it, we're moving it, we, we're moving it now, we don't need to hold that shift key down, we just have to left click on it with our mouse and move it to where we want it. Once I have it where I want it and I like it, I go ahead and hit the enter key and that puts it in the place. So now if you notice, we have a nice picture right inside of our picture box uh, where we want it. Now the next thing you'd want to do is you'd want to bring in your team photo or whatever photo you want for down here. <clears throat> the process is exactly the same except when this photo comes in we want to move it and drag it down above the team layer because this is the box we want to put it in. Remember, the photo has to be above the box you want to put it in. So you would just open up your new file. I'm not going to do this, but you're going to go ahead and open up your new file. When it opens up, you're going to make a copy. You're going to left, left hold down the left mouse button, drag it over on top of the template, and release it on top of the template. Then we'll simply drag it down above the window we want it to be in, which is the team window, release it, and you do the exact same thing you just that we just did with the player window for the team window. It's the exact same process. Um, it's very quick, very simple, and very easy. Once you're done with this, uh, you can always now, once you have this template down, you can just simply go ahead, drag this picture down, drop it to the trash can. So we got rid of the picture. Now we're ready to bring in our new photo. So we can bring in another player, okay? Um, like I said, everything's really quick, really simple, really easy. Uh, if you want to change the player's name, you simply left click on the player name layer, come in here to our text key, just go ahead and click right here at the end of the name, hit backspace, and now we can type in a new player name. Go ahead and hit the move key, 
let's just use our arrow keys like I said earlier to to position that where we want it and now we have a new player name in there that quick that easy that simple um, if at any time you want to go ahead and change this background color we can do that simply left click on your background color make sure that's highlighted it has the current focus come over here to our little uh, swatches here make sure we click on the top one find a new color that you want to use maybe a blue whatever color I don't care find it when you got it click OK then we simply want to come up here to our paint bucket click on it and left click on the background and now we have a new background color so we can change the background color to anything you want um, you can just do a million different things once you have this template down and you understand the process of what you're doing um, you're gonna find out this is so customizable it's 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 ridiculous once again I'm gonna change it to a green I can change it to any color I want once I have it down if I want to go to an orange goldish whatever yellowish I can do that like I said, it's that simple. I hope everybody finds this useful. Um, it's not hard, but I will tell you, you just need to practice with it. The more you do it, the easier it's going to become. Um, this isn't set in stone. This isn't the only way you can do this stuff. There's a million different ways to do it. This is just the way that I do it. Works best for me. Uh, so take it for what it's worth. Play with it. Do it. Create it. And have fun with it. All right, till our next time, you guys all take care, practice, 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 and uh, have, a, have a lot of fun.